The lights change to green and the Italian Grand Prix is underway. The charge down towards the first corner is led by Wayne Rainey. Rainey in the lead. A good start too from Kevin Schwantz. Oh, but there's an incident there and it's Pierre Francesco Killy who sent punting off the track. He came together with another rider by the looks of things and that's bitter disappointment for last year's race winner. Meanwhile, Wayne Rainey heads the charge on this first lap of the Italian Grand Prix. It would look like Wayne Gardner who was involved in that incident with Pierre Francesco Killy. He runs after the marshal who's taking his petrol tank away. He wants to get back in the action. But this is the thick of the action and it's Wayne Rainey leading it from Kevin Schwantz and Mick Doohan. A good start too from World 250 champion Cito Pons. And on the number 18 bike it's the Kajiva of Randy Mamola. Already Wayne Rainey pulling out a lead as he rounds that right hander. Schwantz in second place, Duhans holding third. That's the order they were on the grid, and that's the order they are in the first lap of the race. Wayne Rainey, the world championship leader, leads the Italian Grand Prix. A good start from Jean-Philippe Rugia on the number 14 bike, the all-blue French Yamaha. But Gardner's got past him, and this is Randy Mamola's eye view of the Misano circuit past the start and finish line. The Kajiva powers down but he loses a place there to Neil McKenzie. The British rider, remember, called up into the Lucky Strike Suzuki squad to replace the injured Australian Kevin McGee. Now let's just have a look at that first corner incident again. In slow motion, it seems that Wayne Gardner loses it under braking, pulls out wide, and the unfortunate Pierre Francesco Killy is punted off the track when he was just minding his own business through no fault of his own, last year's Italian Grand Prix winner is out of the race. Now we can have a look at that again from the camera bike of Randy Mamola. Keep your eye on Wayne Gardner on the right of the picture, suddenly goes out of control, goes across to the left-hand side of the track, and Pierre Francesco Killy unfortunately is in the way. The race goes on meanwhile, and it's the three men who were fastest in practice, Wayne Rainey, Kevin Schwantz and this man, Mick Doohan, aboard the Rothmans Honda. The Marbury Yamaha of the World Championship leader is leading the Italian Grand Prix. And already the back end snaking under acceleration there. This is that incident in slow motion again and you can clearly see Wayne Gardner get into all sorts of trouble, drift out wide and collide with Pier Francesco Killy's Rock Honda. That's the leading trio, that's Wayne Gardner, and Gardner's going extremely well, ahead of Jean-Philippe Ruggia, Cito Pons, Neil McKenzie, Randy Mamola, and Alexandra Barros. But already it looks as if Wayne Rainey's beginning to open out a bit of a gap, and the pressure being piled on by Mick Doohan. 